We'll go back here to live now from Fox on this Monday night. So you may have seen this video already uh, of this man attacking this elderly man there in Los Angeles. And then that good Samaritan tackles him, gets his money back until police are called. Fox 11 spoke with that good Samaritan. And we're going to speak with Fox 11 reporter Laura Diaz right now about this whole ordeal. Uh, thankfully, this horrible story had a positive spin on it. But what do we know at this hour, Laura? Well, Andrew, today it was all about the hero and that video. He's getting accolades far and wide for springing into action, as you saw on the video. And he even got a shout out from L.A. City Hall today. I'm really here to thank you for coming to the aid of that poor man who's just sitting there enjoying his moment, his beautiful, this beautiful day in Hollywood. That good Samaritan is Tim Ratcliffe, seen here Monday with Councilman Mitch O'Farrell. The video from the August 1st attack is shocking. It clearly shows the elder citizen getting brutally pummeled by the unhoused man until Ratcliffe intervened near La Brea in Hollywood. A suspect was taken into custody. But many people who live and work in Hollywood feel held captive. to get jailed. O'Farrell has pushed That's through a plan which costs $216,000 with funds coming directly from his office to beef up patrols of the Hollywood division. According to the councilman, there's been a 75% increase in homicides and about 36% increase in shots fired, robbery up almost 20%. The plan calls for additional shifts of the Hollywood division of the LAPD. For business owner and Good Samaritan Tim Ratcliffe, whose restaurant technically is not in O'Farrell's district, the patrols can't get here soon enough. And the officers haven't happened yet, and so that's where my frustration comes is, when does that happen? Because we do need that, as you know, we need it now. That deployment will be very visible this week. You should expect to see those black and white patrol cars very soon, as you just heard expressed by the councilman. There will also be foot patrol and on horses as well. So they're going to hit that patrol very hard in terms of numbers. As far as the Good Samaritan, he is very humble, and he told me that he would do it all over again, that anybody would do what he did. Laura Diaz reporting live from Hollywood. Andrew, now back to you. Yeah, Laura, I mean, he's a big guy. He ran after him very fast and tackled him, uh, you know, so well, so methodically, too, and, and pinned him to the ground. Uh, you know, did you speak when you spoke to him or when other reporters at Fox 11 spoke to him? You know, did he have training in this or did his adrenaline just kind of kick into action? He did the right thing at the right time. And have we heard about the elderly man at all? How's he doing? Has his family members spoken out? What do we know? Well, we know about the elderly man. He is said to be doing well today. I actually got that from Mr. Ratcliffe. And um, you know what? He sprung into action, which was really kind of a gut level response. The irony of this story is about the suspect in the case. They knew him. He was known to people in the area. And also, Tim Ratcliffe told me that from time to time, they would give him water or even food. I'm talking about the homeless person now, when he would walk by. So they had already extended a kind hand to him in the past, and they were pretty shocked by what occurred here on the 1st. All right, Laura Diaz there live for us in Los Angeles. Laura, thanks so much. We'll talk again. Thank you.